Hey, hey everybody. Anyways, I'm um, sitting in my glass room. I was just looking at these knives. I got uh, two, two knives here. They're the exact same copy. This one's from Germany and this one's from China. So I just wanted to give you a kind of an overview because I, I just want to make a video myself for myself and for other people. Excuse me, for other people. Anyways, I'll start with the Chinese one. Everybody's familiar with walk and talk, right? When you pull out the main blade, it uh, has kind of a funny walk. It kind of grinds a little bit. Kind of has a, feels like there's a ball bearing in there or something, or like a really rusty one. Uh, I think it's just because it's never been oiled. And this is the Chinese version of the Rostfrey. This one's a Rostfrey. It's from Germany. This one's from China, which is a copy of the Rostfrey. Not sure which company exactly does that. But it's got some walk issues and doesn't talk too well. It kind of clicks in. Kind of, kind of got some talk to it. I wouldn't trust this knife in a pinch. It would. It would be the kind of knife that you would just carry maybe on a daily basis or not even a daily basis just I mean there's the corkscrew there's a um, awl which is kind of kind of weird and it's got a saw with a you can see that it's a, to, a toenail or a, fi, uh, a fingernail file when you cut your nails or you want to file them up um anyways they come with these these guards over the uh over the saw and this saw is not bad it's not bad still good enough to start strike a fire a bare cerium rod into a fire and it's got an okay uh uh screwdriver tip and uh bottle opener right there and so if we go through the other one, it's going to have a little better talk and walk. Smooth walk. It's coming out smooth. And then talk. Talk. Talk solid. It's, fits, it's nice and tight because it's made in Germany. A Rostray. And so there you, there you go right there. Rostfrey, B and H Rostfrey. Um, it's got the saw. It's got a little bit, a little bit sharper bottle edge, a bottle opener edge, a little sharper bottle opener, a little bit um, more ground down screwdriver so that it can fit in just different size screws. And um, anyways, it's got the. The uh, bottle opener, but see, it doesn't move back. It's it's got way more talk, and it doesn't move back and forth like the other one does on that Chinese one. And this one is uh, an all, and it doesn't move back and forth either. If I show you this one here, they both move back and forth on the Chinese one. See, look at that. How would you like to have that happen when you're trying to all your belt or something? And it's the same with the the. Uh, bottle opener or the wine opener corkscrew corkscrew is um uh, doesn't talk right it um it wobbles back and forth it goes side to side this um blade here is just stainless like a swiss army knife probably some kind of corrupt steel or something or stainless steel and um it's a it's a good knife I should uh, grab a, oh, I don't have any fat wood in here, it's over in the other house, but it's dull, it needs to be sharpened. These knives are, they're potentially one of the dullest knives that you can buy um, because they are a pocket knife and they get used and they don't get sharpened very often because it's a Swiss Army knife and you don't think about sharpening your Swiss Army knife usually. Although I'm going to sharpen mine as soon as I can. 
Uh, if I was going to buy one of these knives, I would buy the Ross Frey. Um, the Ross Frey is a is a more is a more uh, um, solid knife. It's a it's more reliable. It's going to stay last longer. It's going to stay um, together in one piece longer, and um, it's just a nicer knife. So get a Ross Frey. Don't get the Chinese version that you get out of Bud K. Because I bought one of those. And I thought it would be good. I thought it would be a good one. Well, anyways. Anyways, this is uh, Pacific Coast um, Survivalist over and out.